Hello, thank you for visiting my poster presentation. I'm Amanda Proats, clinical dietitian here at RHI. The title of my poster is Therapeutic Use of Arginine, Glutamine, HMB in Nutrition Care and Wound Healing. I decided to do a poster presentation for Care Week to highlight how evidence-based practice is used in nutrition care at RHI. There is a substantial amount of science and research around nutrition, wound healing, and recovery. Um, please see the references at the bottom of this poster for more information. I chose to do a better poster format um, for its simplicity. Uh, this project illustrates how evidence-based practice has been applied in a clinical setting at RHI. When I began working here almost two years ago, I saw an opportunity to increase the use of a therapeutic supplement called Juven. My objective was to increase the use of this for better patient outcomes and initiated the use of Juven as a standard practice for uh, pressure injuries, stage two or greater, chronic wounds, diabetic ulcers, traumatic wounds, and burns. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so it's a little easier to see. So uh, what is the significance of this sub particular supplement? Um, as we know, nutrition plays a vital ro role in wound healing. And when a patient or a person has a lot of wounds, um, there is a higher need for energy or calories and protein um, needs go up significantly as well, um, as well as fluid needs and vitamins, um, especially B12, E, C, and the mineral zinc. Um, a lot of our patients at RHI are not able to take in enough of these nutrients with food alone. So they have an inadequate intake of these nutrients. Um, for various reasons, they may be um, malnourished, they may have a swallowing difficulty or chewing difficulty, um, decreased appetite um, with all the other medications they may be taking, just for whatever reason, aren't able to get in enough of those nutrients. Um, and it becomes a real problem because if you do not get enough protein um, in these particular nutrients in, um, the body will be in a state of catabolism. And that what that means is it is going to be deficient in those amino acids, arginine and glutamine, and then begin to break down lean body mass and skeletal muscle to provide um, those nutrients for the wound healing process. Um, so this um, is a significant need if you have major wounds. Um, and to look, I guess, at look at, we'll look at the the, these particular nutrients a little closer and what they each of them do. Let me try to zoom in here. Arginine increases blood flow and synthesizes proteins. Glutamine stimulates collagen and supports the immune system. Um, collagen increases blood flow and synthesizes proteins as well. HMB, which is beta hydroxy beta methyl butyrate, um, which is a mouthful, so we just say HMB. Um, it slows the catabolism of muscle cells and reduces inflammation, so it protects the cells. Um, and then micronutrients, zinc, and the vitamins B12, C, and E support healing and reduce infection, and they are also cofactors in um, building new tissue and um, protecting those cells. So those are very important to get in. And um, once I created this standard of practice, um, I noticed that patients were taking the Juven at first um, when, they, when the supplement was ordered, but then after that, they weren't continuing on it. So the next question is, why not? Um, and maybe if they were provided more education and more encouragement and more support to take those supplements, um, they would um, have better outcomes. So we, we created an in-service for education um, on Juven to all the medical staff, and this included tastings and, um, and a chance for them to, to taste it for themselves. So if they would like it, then maybe they can encourage patients to try it too. Um, and what, what I found was that 
Prior to initiating this as a standard practice, we had only dispensed 228 packets in a seven month period. Then once it became a standard practice, when I screen patients on admission, um, and then and then order that as indicated, um, we then we had dispensed 1,485 uh, packets in that period of time. So this is now a standard practice. But then once we did the in-service and education for all of the other um, members of the interdisciplinary team, I saw almost a doubling of that same amount of Juven being used um, post-education. So 2,527 packets were, um, were dispensed after the education. So what I learned from that uh, was that once everyone on the interdisciplinary team understood the reason why we were using this supplement for wound healing, um, we got better, we had better support ongoing use of it by the patients once they realized the benefit of taking it and then it wasn't just another supplement that had protein in it, it had um, specific amino acids that would be hard to get in otherwise. In fact, the arginine, if um, in, it's present only in small amounts in a whole protein. So if you ate this, the, the daily amount of getting the supplement provides for arginine, the same equivalent that you would have to consume in four ribeye steaks, eight ounce ribeye steaks. And the amount of glutamine that you'd have to consume, um, I mean, to get the amount of glutamine, you'd have to consume 20 eggs. And then to get the amount of HMB from this supplement, you'd have to have 6,000 avocados. So when we share that with patients, um, that is provided by Abbott Nutrition, we share this with patients, that really helps them to see that this truly is a shortcut to helping their body heal these wounds. And we had um, a lot of anecdotal success with this too. Um, patients that had chronic wounds, wounds for years that hadn't, hadn't healed, um, lots of different stories. And then when they were taking it at RHI, these wounds healed significantly um, uh, in that short period of time with their stay. Um, so in their, in their view, that was the only thing that was different. Um, so we've had a lot of success with that. And now we have a lot of nutrition champions, I call them. Um, that kind of helped me promote that with the patients um, that really need to have it. Um, so the overall contribution is that patients with wounds that receive Juven and continue to take it may benefit from a quicker recovery, shorter hospital stay, and reduced readmission rates. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy to, um, to talk more about that. Thank you.